January 25th, 2021. It was a big night for the NBA. The Hornets played the Orlando Magic, and for the first time ever, two female referees officiated that same game. They made up two-thirds of the crew that night. Jimmy Edmonds introduces us to one of those referees who commutes from Berkeley to officiate about 10 NBA games a month. Jenna Schroeder grew up in the Flint area playing basketball. She went on to play at Oakland and Saginaw Valley State University. She started refereeing at 17 because she wanted to make some extra money, and now it's turned into her dream job where she's breaking barriers. Jenna Schroeder began refereeing as a teen because she loved the game, and it beat a job at the mall. She started with third and fourth grade games in her hometown of Clio. You know, basically like babysitting these little kids and they're traveling all the time. You're just picking them up when they fall on the floor. But then at, like on a Saturday, like I made like a hundred bucks and I thought I was rich. It turned into a nice side job for the college student, but after graduation, it didn't quite pay the bills. That's where bartending at Comerica Park's Tiger Club came in handy. If I could just work my butt off in the summertime, that I could just, you know, really concentrate on refereeing in the wintertime and like focus on the craft. Jenna did this for years and advanced to officiating Division I men's games. When a scout saw her work, she was invited to an NBA G League tryout. Tigers had like a 10 day homestand, like one of the longest homestands and I was going to work every day, but I had the tryout for the NBA G League. So I'm like, I had to ask for time off. I'm like, listen, I can't, I gotta, I can't, can't pass this up. Schroeder did get the time off, but didn't get the job, at least that year. She came back the very next year and was hired. Schroeder spent three seasons in the G League, then two seasons with the WNBA. Oh. Next up, oh. takes it right away from Randall, drives inside and flushes. The NBA, where Schroeder became the sixth female to referee in league history. It's clearly the next game plan. Gibson with October the October 18th of last year, I refereed my very first NBA game in the regular season being full-time on staff. And it was in San Antonio versus the New York Knicks. She says some fans in some arenas may give her a hard time, but she's fully supported by the league and the players. Happy. And there you see the officiating crew. You know, you hear the women stuff sometimes from the fans, like go back to the kitchen. And one time someone said that to me and a player, you know, well-regarded player looked at him and checked him like immediately. He said, don't say that to her. Right now, there are five full-time female referees in the league and two others not on staff. Last month was a first. Schroeder officiated a game with Natalie Sago, the Hornets versus the Magic, the first time two women have ever officiated the same NBA game. Which was a huge deal, to be completely honest. Like, that was a big deal. It's just never been done before. And if we continue to, like, be breaking these barriers, especially as women in male-dominated fields and specifically sports, you know, hopefully we don't have to, like, keep having these first and we'll have them all and it'll just become the norm. Schroeder says women empowering women and supporting each other is how to break into male dominated worlds. She knows a lot of girls are watching her right now on this enormous NBA stage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially her two and a half year old daughter, yeah. Brexton. Like, I, I want my daughter to, you know, think her mom is, you know, strong enough to break barriers and do whatever she needs to do. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.